Hello, my name is Doc, and welcome to the Chunk Challenge, episode two. Uh, we're here in our chunk, our singular chunk. We've got nothing but a pig, an axe, and a few trees. Oh, we got a few things more. We did get a few seeds out of some grass, which is honestly really important. We nearly died to a creeper and a skeleton, but we were fine, and everything was okay, and there's actually nothing to worry about. And we did have this massive mighty oak spawn right here above us, so... We are actually doing great in terms of wood. I think, you know, these very first few days here, there is really just a lot of repetitive sort of mining and resource gathering. So the, the goal really is just to survive long enough to get some XP to let us unlock some of the really key chunks nearby. We did learn that there is some water over this way towards the... Which direction is this? I am looking... This is, oh God, uh, I hate reading this screen. I might get a mod that honestly makes this more legible. Where is the western, facing west. This is the west direction. Oh yeah, you can see on the mini map it says west. Um, towards the west, there's like a river and like water is going to be really key for growing crops because presently we don't really have a way to um, grow crops. We have the seeds, but we don't have any crops. Um, so we'll have to work on that a little bit. But, um, you know, for the time being, I think we're just going to harvest and mine. Um, yeah, like I was saying in the last episode, I think one of the big goals that I want to give myself for this challenge. And unfortunately, now we're going to have a dangling. Ugh, we're going to have a dangling tree. I'm going to have to trim all this away. OK, that's fine. Um, I want to get a block from every biome. And I think... I was thinking about how I want to do this challenge um, in particular. We're going to do multiple challenges over the course of this run. But for that one in particular, I think I want to say something along the lines of, like, I'm allowed to acquire blocks. Basically, and, you know, because, like, technically, like, if you got a dirt block, that would count for, like, I don't know, like 30 different biomes. Like, there are probably more than 30 biomes that have dirt in them. And it's like, that would not actually be that interesting of a challenge uh, or that difficult of a challenge because I could just like slap a piece of dirt down for, for all these different biomes. But um, I think the way I want to do it is, one, I'm kind of allowed to do acquire blocks in any way that I like. Um, uh, so it's like, you know, if I want to buy blocks from a trader or get blocks or items from, uh, from villager trades, that's legitimate. Um, I don't know how how many trades would actually be super useful beyond what I could just get within a, a claimed chunk. But um, but I do think the goal will essentially be to, uh, I, like for each biome, I need to pick like a unique item or block from that biome if possible. There will be some biomes that are like, oh, there's like five or six or 10 different ocean biomes. And it's like, some of them are simply not that different from each other. And like, there's not much unique between like the lukewarm ocean biome and the cold ocean biome. Like I don't, I, I need to do the research on that and see like, what are the actual differences between those? But, um, you know, there may end up being not all that many differences. And so we'll just go with, you know, we'll allow ourselves a little bit of leeway for certain biomes. But I think in general, I think the challenge I want to set myself is, saying, okay, you have to try and get a unique item from each biome and collect them. And I think that's going to be kind of a cool challenge because that will, I mean, it, it will also just naturally lead us to do a lot of other um, challenging stuff such as getting to the nether, finding every nether biome. Now, that that's a little easier because there's not actually that many different ones. Um, but uh, getting to the end and, and I don't even, are there different, end, there are different end biomes. I don't know how many there are. But, um, you know, again, something for us to research. So that's that's kind of one of the the main things that I want to try and accomplish on this run is is really sort of seeing how many different uh, biomes I can get. Really, ideally, I would consider a challenge complete if we did manage to get um, get a block from every biome. So that's cool. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Um, I think it's going to let us also accomplish a bunch of other fun things along the way. Uh, but yeah, so for now, again, it's it's a lot of mining, a lot of repetitious mining. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of that. In return, uh, when I've done some mining. So I will catch you guys in a little bit, and I'll show you what I found in my mining adventures. Hey, I'm back. 
just wanted to show you that I'm about to get probably level two. And I don't think the chunk cap goes up yet, but just kidding. It didn't go up at all yet. Wait. Boom. It's still chunk cap one. Uh, so I think it I think it's not until level three that you actually get another uh, chunk. So anyway, level two. Woo. Anyway, uh, also, I just realized the other thing is I'm mining, strip mining. Well, I'm planning to strip mine. Um, working my way down, jumping does take hunger. So I kind of have to be careful with jumping up and down these steps. Um, I may end up building a staircase. So uh, anyway, it's still nighttime. It's still way too dangerous to be out there. I'm going to get back to mining and I'll catch you guys back soon. OK, uh, big update. We hit water which is amazing because now we can finally plant some crops. Uh, very important. I think we're going to have to just do, we don't have a, we don't, we have no iron yet. That's the other thing I was going to come back and show you guys once I found some uh, was, was uh, if I found iron, I can't really see too well here, but it does seem like there's a little underwater ravine there. Oh God. Um, so this is really exciting. So we're actually going to be able to grow some food. And if, my memory serves me, and I think it does. Uh, we should be able to just put some torches nearby and still grow some crops underwater. So this is big. Um, once we hit iron, we'll be able to actually just bring it back up to the surface where it makes sense to have crops. But for now, I wanted to show you what I'd found. Yeah, I, I'll tag back in whenever I find iron as well. That's gonna be a big milestone. So let's go ahead and grab our two seeds and some dirt. And we did uh, make a few more torches, cooked a few more logs there. Let's get on down here and do some farming. Yeah, I'm 99% sure it still grows underwater as long as you have good torches nearby. So let's get this, let's get this going. Very exciting stuff. Oh, I got a hoe. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll cheat a little bit. I think it's okay. I mean, it's not cheating. We're just going to make another hoe, which is like literally how you play the game, but it's a little wasteful is, is more the problem, but we've got wood. We've got wood for days. We're chilling. Uh, ooh, I love a glow squid, mostly because my old eyes prefer uh, being able to see stuff. <laughs> uh, I do like I do like the that effect that the glow gives to your signs. So we'll we'll try and uh, grab a few of them later. But uh, for now, we are farming. Let's go. It's happening. Very exciting. You know, when I was uh, redesigning the rules for this, I, I toyed with the idea of having advancements give you additional chunks. And you know, maybe in future versions of that, I may do that. But it ended up not being enough chunks. I just think the XP leveling is really just, they're already rewarding you for certain things in Minecraft. And it's just easier to kind of go with that stuff. So uh, so yeah, so really exciting stuff. We've got crops going. I'm pretty sure they'll grow here with that torch. Uh, but anyway, we're getting back to mining. We're gonna head down to, uh, I think it's like mm, 16, level 16 is a great place for iron mining. You can even maybe pick up a diamond or two at that level. So we're gonna build our mine all the way down there and slowly uh, build out this little farm we've got going. I mean, it's not much space this way, but uh, once we have the iron, we'll be able to just do it on the surface like a, like a proper farmer. So um, I'm gonna get back to it and I will catch you guys whenever I find some iron. Oh man, we hit level 16 and what did we find? But our first, very first piece of iron. And thankfully, because I'm building this one chunk away I'm building this, uh, the, the tunnel down one chunk away from the border. We can actually mine this iron. Iron acquired. Let's go. Very exciting. This actually opens up a ton of possibilities. Most importantly, a water bucket. I'm, uh, you know what? We might start a little strip mining here and then get to, uh, get to going with the old, uh, the old smelting. But uh, I think we're going to sort of expand at this floor because level 16 is a great spot to mine for all sorts of stuff. And I think we're going to do a little strip mining here and then we'll go up and smelt some iron. But anyway, this will be exciting if we ever do unlock this chunk to the east. I think there were some, uh, oh, glow squid very close to us. Um, I do think there were some sheep on the surface that we wanted to try and pick up. So we'll probably eventually claim that chunk uh, as, as a nearby chunk. So uh, we're going to do a little strip mine here. 
and then I'll come back uh, when we're getting the uh, the old iron cooked up. Ooh. Oh. Oh wait, that's the song. Okay. But we did get the eerie sound, so I wonder if there's a cave nearby. Very spooky. Very Halloween. We love that. Um, anyway, it's mining. You guys know what that looks like. So I will pause here and come back soon. Iron alert. We got more. We're, at, we're, we're strip mining. We found a little bit more iron. Very exciting stuff. Just wanted to show it off. Let's get it. This actually with this. Ooh, this is actually a nice amount. Um, we might actually start smelting some of this because I think once. Oh, my God. This is actually great. Once we smelt this much iron, we might be pretty close to an amount that would get us to level three in terms of experience. And if we could unlock one more chunk, that would be really huge because that would just literally double the area in which we can mine. And that one, oops, would be really lovely. One, two, three. So I think we'll probably go ahead and smelt this stuff up as soon as we're done strip mining this level 16 mine. And then it's time for the exciting stuff, unlocking new chunks. So I'll be back once we're smelting away. Okay, we have strip mined this level 16. We've got a fair amount of iron and some copper, which is, well, I'm not super pumped about copper in general. It doesn't really unlock any tools for us. I mean, it, it does look nice, but um, it will give us a little bit of XP. Actually, we should probably grab this copper right here as well. Um, we're going to head up and we're going to do a little bit of smelting get some of this XP coming in. This is the, uh, this is where things start to pick up a little bit. As we can see, our crops are growing. Soon we'll just be able to move these to the surface because we're gonna have a bucket in a few minutes here. But um, I think honestly we should go up, get the smelting going, maybe even get two furnaces going. And then we should really decide like which direction we wanna go. Um, it's still going to be a little slow going for now because we just aren't going to have a great source of experience quite yet, but we are, we're, we're, we're working our way there. So let's go ahead and get like half of this in here, half of this in here. Uh, I'm going to go with planks still for now because we don't have a great way of getting charcoal quite yet. So I, I don't know exactly how many planks we need um, for each of those. Probably, probably more than that, honestly. Let's be real. It's more than that. Um, this might be close to enough. We'll see where that gets us. I don't really know the math on, on plank smelting, but uh, I know they're not super efficient, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Got a few trees. Get these down here. We, we, do, we are having a setting sun. Now that we have, okay, so we found that water underneath, so that actually kind of frees us up to maybe choose a different direction for our next chunk. It could be better to head east to where we saw those sheep. And I and there's a pig too. Oof. Oh, a pig. Yeah, because now that we now that we have water, a source of water, we're actually not stressed near as much as we were before because we really just didn't have a source of food. But uh, we've got that now, so pretty exciting stuff. Uh, do we have any saplings? I guess we'll have to wait for these to fall down. I know we have some in the chest, so let's go grab a few saplings, pick up some iron, and see if we level up here and get a new chunk. I think we probably will. Uh, not quite. Okay, so it might take a little bit longer, a little bit more smelting. We're close. We're very close. And those planks actually were plenty. Um, oh, wait. We got the copper. Let's smelt that copper up. That should actually give us all the XP we need to get uh, to where we need to be. But we have 13 iron bars, which is honestly amazing. Uh, I'm actually going to start again. It's it's storage wars. It's already it's happening. So let's get it going. Let's have a stone chest over here. Ah, just like right next to it is fine. We just need to start having a stone and gravel chest because the sooner you get going with something like that, the better. So that's that'll do for now. We found a little bit of gravel, so we have some flint now, which can be very nice uh, in the future. That can be helpful. Oops, I split those. Um, dirt, obviously we love lovely dirt. Uh, we probably just want to have a tool chest pretty soon. Um, but yeah, we've got the basics. Oh God, the organization. Soon we will also be able to leave um, 
stone behind, which is very exciting. Boom, level three. We got it. OK, we've got some useless copper blocks. Uh, I guess we can make blocks of copper. I don't know. It's it's fine. Oh, and it and it became night. So we're going to have to wait a second before we uh, before we do any of that. But what we'll do in the meantime, oops, not that one. We want to do um, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one we want to do because that basically prevents them from entering. So and let's us see out. Uh, we'll grab we'll grab what's here. Chunk gap is up to two. Um, I think that's that's everything there. Lovely. Copper, you know, it's it's there. Uh, what can you actually do with copper blocks? I guess I could make a copper door. Is this just for storage? Does that, oh, wait, what is the fletching table? Oh yeah, that was not anything. We already could do a fletching table. Um, I can make a lightning rod. Very exciting. I don't know, I'm just gonna make a couple blocks of copper, because why not? You know what? Perhaps we could adorn our space a little. Let's let's fancy it up. Let's get a little fancy here. That's one thing I do appreciate about making videos is it forces me to stop being a little gremlin who never makes uh, anything nice at all and actually put a little effort into making the place look at least a little decorated, which is honestly ideal. We also got to start doing it, man. This is super important. Get the signs going. We will be expanding these quite soon, but for now, that'll do. Oh man, a bed, a bed is really important. Um, we're definitely going to need a bed soon. Put this in there. Just a ridiculous amount of tools. I think I'm gonna, oh yes, bucket. That is absolutely the first thing we wanna do is get a bucket here. So let's go ahead and grab a bucket. And honestly, a shield. Huge. Way, the most important piece of defense that you can have is the shield. So let's go and grab some water from that underground spot. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, actually have a farm on the surface where it kind of makes sense to do, do so. Nice little bit of Minecraft music. Love it. Here we go. All right, well, I, I'm tempted to just let the crops go um, for now because, you know, they're growing and, you know, that's not bad. We may, but we do have one bone from a skeleton that we killed, so we could bone meal them uh, in order to get some seeds a little quicker, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see. I think we're going to be able to claim a chunk and that's going to give us access to new grass and we will definitely use a hoe this time. Um, Honestly, I probably should have made two buckets. You know what, we'll make a little infinite pool up here so that we've got access to it. Um, let's see, I'd rather make the pool on the surface, but you know what, while we're here. Lovely Minecraft music, ugh, oh, what a treat. Um, yeah, we just wanna make sure we have access to water at kind of all levels of our base to start. It's very frustrating when you have to run all the way down just to go get some water, so. Yeah, so, I, you know, this is honestly starting out pretty good. I'm Part of me wishes that we had spawned a little closer to a village, but another part of me is like, actually, it's I, I kind of wanted to show the little technique I found for building your own village, but we'll get to that in a, in a very long time. That's going to be a little while, though I do think actually making a mob spawner slash uh, grinder is kind of... It's kind of one of the most important things about this challenge. Um, uh, both from what you can acquire from it and for the XP it provides you. So, um, beautiful. We've got infinite water. I, I, I prefer the four block version versus the three block version because you can't goof it up. And, uh, you know, I goof stuff up all the time. So, uh, I prefer the foolproof versions every time. You know, and this is the, the, the struggle of the challenge is, you know, we could try and farm out here. We just, we don't, we could do a little mob hunting we do not have any food to heal with. So if we did that, we could die and that's just not worth it. So um, I'll probably pause here and just wait for a day and then we'll go out, claim a chunk and probably wrap this episode up. So I will catch you guys in just a second. Big find while we're waiting for day to break, a little bit of coal. 
I decided I would strip mine a little bit. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, we'll be able to come back and get some of this later. I mean, this is generally I found for the chunk challenge, you can't really rely on coal as your primary fuel source, but there's no denying that it is very convenient when you find some. So um, if we do decide to claim this Western chunk, we'll be able to grab a, a fair bit more coal. So that'll be nice. So um, yeah, it looks like day's actually just about to break. So maybe we'll just finish uh, mining this live. Oh my gosh, gravel. Let's go. A little bit dark in here. Um, and maybe we'll go on up to the surface and do a little chunk claiming. That's what it's all about. That's what the whole challenge is all about. I did find a little bit more copper, which is also pretty nice. You've got to admit. Okay, so we did the the outline for a, a strip mine down there. We'll eventually get down to business with doing that a little bit more. But for now, let's plonk the old... Oh, actually, we found quite a bit of copper. Split these up. Should be plenty. Get my shield back on. Put my stone away. And, you know, we'll put the coal in here. Let's get out of here and see what's going on. I think, honestly, the play... The play has to be to go this way towards the sheep. Because there's really just no other way. Oh, oh, perfect, actually. Oh, and I'm... I'm on fire. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. It was, I did have my bucket with me and I did forget to use it. But uh, hey, uh, we went up a level though. So that's nice. We're now level four. Uh, level four is still, unfortunately, just two chunks. But uh, hey, that's great. Uh, that's the way we would like to be fighting these uh, creatures. So I think we're going to claim this chunk right here. So I think this is the play. Look at us go. Two chunks. It's a whole new world. Uh, do we got the hoe with us? We sure do. Amazing. Let's let's start hoeing. Um, a little bit of seeds. That's great. Um, as soon as we have wheat, we will be able to attract those. Oh my god, we just unlocked another uh, wood type too, which is actually really good. Definitely my preferred wood type for harvesting wood is spruce. Look at that. More seeds. Amazing. This is really good. Let's use this up. Oh, I hear the sheep. Oh, I hear you. Soon you will be mine, and I promise I will treat you well, take care of you. I will not hurt you on purpose, uh, mostly because we desperately need to be able to breed you. Uh, it's very important. <laughs> um, it's kind of a cool spawn, honestly. Uh, you know, there's some cool features here of the of the land. Oh, my God. I, there's a sheep right there. I wish I had some wheat for you. But I have no wheat for you, so that'll just have to be a, a future project. But uh, the good news is that they're close, and we can get to them. Oh my god, they're right here! Oh, I wish I had wheat. I don't. All right, you know what? Let's not let's not talk about having wheat. Let's make it a reality. Um, also, uh, are you guys team hold shift or toggle shift? I was team hold shift to crouch for a very long time. And then I was building something for a while and just started toggling. And I think I kind of shifted, which was surprising to me. Uh, it's a little nicer on the finger, I will admit. I do find it to be a little more pleasant. I do, ah, the beautiful spruce. We love it. See now this one, okay, that one's legal because I'm still in the trunk. So um, we just want to set up a nice little simple river farm here. I think we just want to make a little trench and uh, and just get some seeds going. I might even go downstairs and get those um, get those seeds we've already planted downstairs because we kind of do need... There we go. That's what I thought. I figured it was something like that. Uh, yeah, let's start going. We don't really need that much space yet, but uh, we've got some space because we've got some seeds. Lovely. Lovely. You know what? I I think it doesn't matter because it's it's the source block that matters for water. I think not running water. I don't remember. Either way, these are plenty close enough. Let's go ahead and grab those other seeds and just bring them upstairs. I think it's just for the best. My bountiful copper. You know what? Oh my god, we might actually get one more chunk here. Let's go. We got a third chunk. That's amazing. <laughs> I've never cared this much about copper ever. Uh, you know what? Frick it. Let's just make a bunch of copper blocks because... What the heck else are we going to do with this stuff, you know? Decorate a little bit. Have fun with it. Um, 
yeah, once we have some bread, we are going to be living the high life. And I think we'll probably do a little bit of, what am I doing? What am I even trying to do here? All right, pretend like they didn't happen. Let's go grab those seeds and uh, bring them back upstairs. Cause I just think upstairs is just gonna be better for what we need. So yeah, we're a little low health right now. And so that is a little scary. Uh, we might unlock another chunk here just because especially this early, I think it's just safer to, to keep it going and keep unlocking stuff. Um, it's gonna be a little bit. So we have the tools to capture sheep. Um, I may, I'll tell you what, we've got that one bone. It might be worth getting at least one piece of wheat so that we can lure the sheep in and capture them. So why don't we grab the, oh, we have two bones. That's actually a whole different ball game. We gotta get these spruce down. There's a lot to do in this Minecraft world. Let's bone meal some wheat. I think it's the right call. Is it already sunset? Oh no, it's midday. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get these crop. Wait, you can put that on farmland, huh? I did not know that. Uh, it's bone meal time. We're gonna bone meal. I guess I should have bone mealed the ones downstairs, but oh, that's lucky. That's very nice. What did we get? We got a piece. Hey, and we got three seeds. That's actually the more important thing here is all the seeds we can get right now. So let's get this going. Beautiful. I mean, I might go ahead and just spend some of this bone meal right now. Ah, well, you know, that happens. Uh, it's time to unlock another chunk for sure. Um, it's just too important to neglect. So we're actually, we're just gonna be making our way towards the sheep. Um, did they wander somewhere suspicious? I really hope not. Uh, we're, we're just, we're unlocking this one because I know it's just towards a, a sheep that I can see. Uh, and let's pull the weed out and see what they, if they like what they, they're seeing. We're a little far. Is that a dog? Is that a dog right there? What is that? What is next to the sheep? It's not moving. Oh, we've got one. It is a dog. Oh my God, we could have a dog. This is huge. I actually, in my last, um, in my last test for this mode, I never saw any dogs ever, even once. Uh, that's so awesome. Not necessarily for any particular mechanical reason, but mostly because dogs are great and we like dogs, so. Um, but this is important because it's wool. You know what? You're you're going in the pit. Goodbye, Mr. Sheep. Welcome to your new home. Oh my god, if we get one more. Now, we can get shears. Shears are already available to us with iron. So we'll probably just start with shears in order to make a bed. Wow, this actually, this thing just blew right open, right before our very eyes. Very exciting stuff. I wonder if we can find one more sheep. Uh, where were that? Where did that white sheep go? I don't know where he went. We'll leave the flowers for now. Those can be, you know, if we once we get a village going, or if we find one, maybe there is one that's close and we just haven't seen it. But once we get a village going, the the dye trades can come in clutch. So we'll see if we're uh, th those flowers are harder to farm um, than others, but uh, might be worth it. Oh, munching. Um, let's see. We may just have to shears that sheep for now. Cause I don't know where that white sheep went. Uh, but if, if all we ever do is shears it, that's okay. I think that's the sheep right there. I think that's a sheep. I think I spy a sheep. We're actually really close to level six. I don't remember if level six gives us uh gives us another uh, thing that we need, but we'll see. Let's make some shears. In the meantime, we really do need the ability to sleep. It's very important um, in life and in, in the game. Let's make some shears. Uh, how do you make shears? Wait, what are they even called? Clippers? Wait. Wait, I'm, am I crazy? What are they called? Oh my gosh. Um, isn't it just that? Yeah, shears. I'm crazy. I, maybe it just wasn't. Maybe I wasn't spelling it right there. Let's clip this sheep. Let's clip him. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I'll probably... I'm just going to tunnel underneath to get that because I cannot risk him escaping. It is... It is. I cannot tell you how important a sheep is <laughs> in this playthrough. If you lose your sheep, you lose your chance of making more beds. It, it's just... Uh, it's it's massive. The importance of the sheep is not to be not to be underestimated. Um, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done, uh, and yet here we are. Wait, did we whiff? Should be right here. Yep. Did we get it? We got the wool. We did not get the wool. Uh, did we just get wool? We just got it through the thing. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, let's do this. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Ooh, there we go. We break this. We get the other wool. We have one wool. I know there's another wool. Um, where's the other wool? There we go. I think we got it. Two. There we go. Nice. Not enough for bed yet, but um, very nice. To start. Okay, so uh, that's, you know, we, we have secured. This is actually pretty exciting. It, as the sun sets, we assess where we're at. We've secured a sheep. Um, we've got our third tile unlocked, our third chunk. We've gotten access to wool, which is for bed, which is so important. There are llamas very close. I don't know what their purpose, I mean, when they come with the trader, they have the leads on them. But when they're, they're just spawning naturally, I don't know exactly what the value there is. Um, my gosh, you know what? Let's make a piece of bread, have a snack, and go to bed. I think that's the perfect way to cap off this ap episode here. Let's uh, secure our, our exit. Uh, we should eventually do something that's better than that. But uh, let's make let's make our first bread. Ooh, baby. Oh, it's 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 snacking time. Delicious. We are still not going to heal off of that amount of hunger, but at the very least, we have ceased dying. We've secured a lot of cool things, a lot of important things. There's much to do, but things are looking bright. So, uh, y'all, you know what? Actually, I wanted to do this. I wanted to make a um, kind of an outro. Oh. oh, the wolf is fighting a... Wait, the wolf is fighting a skeleton right now. Wait, I'm tempting fate. Doggy, thank you. You protected me. What a good boy. I want those bones so badly. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I apologize for the cur cursing. That's People don't like that on YouTube anymore. Oh, oh my God. Holy smokes. Okay, uh, it's apple time. <laughs> we, we overestimated our capacities. Uh, we're eating the emergency apple. <laughs> It probably still won't heal us, though. Uh, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you in the next episode where we will be hiding until the sunlight, getting some wheat, and surviving and thriving. We're going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, I'll catch you guys next episode. See ya.